President Trump fires off a shocking tweet calling porn star Stormy Daniels horse face. Is it appropriate for the president to call a woman horse face? Trump went nuclear after a federal judge dismissed Stormy's defamation lawsuit against him. Great, now I can go after horse face and her third rate lawyer, he tweeted. She knows nothing about me, a total con. Stormy zinged right back. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present your president. In addition to his um, shortcomings, he has demonstrated his incompetence hatred of women, and lack of self-control on Twitter again. Game on, Tiny. Meanwhile, First Lady Melania Trump continues her attacks on rapper T.I. for that raunchy music video depicting a look-alike in the Oval Office. In a new statement, Melania's spokeswoman Stephanie Grisham says, like it or not, she is the First Lady and this is the White House. It's disrespectful and disgusting to portray her this way. It needs to stop. And Trump caused quite a stir on social media for leaving Melania standing in the rain as they left for hurricane-damaged Florida. Melania did take her husband's arm, and Trump then covered her with the umbrella as they headed over to Marine One. My sources told me when they're together, they actually seem to get along fine. Nina Burley is national politics correspondent for Newsweek magazine and author of the just-released book, Golden Handcuffs, The Secret History of Trump's Women. Golden handcuffs, what do you mean? Well, it's like when you have a job that you really don't like, but you get paid too much to leave. I asked her about Melania's response to this question in that big ABC interview. Do you love your husband? Yes, we are fine. We are fine. How does that sound to you when you hear someone say about their marriage they're fine? In the research that I did for this book, I believe that she and he had separate lives for a long time. 